People continue to visit the shrine on the steps of the former Mohawk Institute after hearing about an ongoing investigation into bones found close to the grounds. Pretty devastating to think about it because um, my grandma went to this school here. She survived and ended up having um, 16 children. I have a lot of family that live here in the six and yeah, it's, uh, it's a very close to our hearts. The Six Nations Survivors Secretariat says the remains were unearthed in August of 2020 during maintenance work in an undisclosed area of Glenwood Drive just a few kilometers away. After winter and COVID-19 delays, Ontario's chief coroner determined the bones are likely someone under the age of 14. That it's uh, an unmarked burial. Um, it's uh, in the proximity of the Mohawk Institute and now with examination of the bones, uh, determining that this is an adolescent. Those are the factors. Dr. Dirk Heyer says the bones could be as old as 300 years. Beverly Jacobs with the Survivor Secretariat says while sad, the investigation needs to be completed before conclusions can be drawn. You know, we wait until we hear from, from the coroner, uh, the race, the gender, the time, time of death, cause of death. Geronimo Henry, who says he was a survivor at the Institute, spends his weekends meeting visitors. He says despite the potential age of the bones, a search is needed. That long ago, I guess it was kind of like, you know, it was still uh, native land. We're going to have this radar, uh, you know, uh, Grounds, all the ground search here. The task force assigned to do ground penetrating radar in the area have roughly 500 acres of land to search. Jacob says the task force is currently being trained to operate radar. John Creedon says he used to work at the Mohawk Institute 30 years ago and hopes to have answers. It always made me um, apprehensive when I walked in that back area. There's a large, large area back here that's all grass. Dr. Dirk Heyer wouldn't give a timeline on when he expects his investigation to conclude, and Jacob says that she expects the task force to begin its search soon, but wouldn't give an exact date on that search. She adds that it could take at least a year to uh, search the entire land.